In the year 2010 AD, the world changed forever. Uh, but what also happened is Apple made this, the very first iPad. Released in April 2010, this iPad is stuck on iOS version 5.1.1, which given we're on version 13 already, surely this device can't play YouTube anymore. Or can it? Let's have a closer look, shall we? As you probably know, the pre-installed YouTube app and the one on the store have stopped working more than half a decade ago. But thanks to a tweak, we can make it work nearly as well as it did before. Let me walk you through it. So first, as with any tweak, your iPad will need to be jailbroken first with Cydia installed, which you can do with the tutorial right here. Jailbroken? Good. Now you'll need to launch Cydia and tap Sources, then tap Edit, then tap Add. Just input the URL for Invox's beta Cydia repository, which is clear text for some godforsaken reason. This is where we will download the Tube Fixer tweak, which is what will actually do the YouTube fixing. Which we will do like so. Just tap on Sources, then tap on Tweaks, then tap on Tube Fixer, Modify, and then Install. Next, you should be prompted to restart Springboard, which after that we can move on to the next step, which is a little bit more involved. While a bit daunting at first, this part isn't really that hard. All you need to do is go to cloud.google.com slash APIs slash library, the link in the description of course. Scroll down till you see YouTube Data API V3, click it, then click enable, and give it a bit. Then click credentials, create credentials, then select API key. You should be now confronted with your very own YouTube API key. This is what Toolfixer will use to regain access to YouTube. Now you just need to get the key onto the iPad. I highly recommend using copy and paste, as these are more than 30 case sensitive characters, so just use something like Evernote, email, carrier pigeon, or your mom, whatever will work for you. With that done, just head back over to the iPad, tap settings, and you should now see Toolfixer under extensions. Then switch custom API key to on, then just paste the API key from the iPad's clipboard, which should be there because you copied it earlier. Now the default YouTube app should be working again. So you can now watch instructional videos, less instructional videos, your videos, my videos, cat videos, time appropriate videos, less time appropriate videos, or whatever else. Uh, however, something of note that doesn't work is signing in and everything that comes with that, like commenting and subscriptions. But hey, for a device nearly as old as my sense of humor, that's not bad. So yeah, that's about it. Hope I could help. Leave a like or something, I don't know.